What is albino? Lutino and cremino budgie. What do they have all in common? And what separates them from other budgie mutations? How to identify them? What is albino in genetical terms? Let's discuss them in further details to understand them more. Before we start, it's important to watch my documentary about budgie genetics and colors. If you are interested to understand the genetics we are gonna discuss in this video. This is an albino budgie. This is a Lodino. And finally, this is a Crimino. What do they all have in common? Well, they all have the Enogene. The Enogene is recessive and it prevents the production of melanin. That's why you cannot see any colors in this mutation other than white and yellow. If you remember from the documentary, we've talked about how melanin gives us all the dark colors we see in our budgies. But in budgies, have their melanin stopped from producing any colors? While the cytosine is still working and it keeps on producing the yellow color. That's how we get the lutino, which is a full yellow bird. If the cytosine isn't working, we get the albino. Since the melanin and the cytosine both aren't working, so the bird stays white. Basically, if the Inu bird is green series budgie, we get the yellow lutino. And if the Inu bird is blue series budgie, we get the white albino. However, there is still one Inu bird that has a mixture of both yellow and white, and we call it Cremino. This budgie is blue series budgies in origin, but because of another mutation like the yellow face or golden face, it becomes Cremino. We will discuss that mutation in another video, this is not our topic for this video. Now let's move on, how to identify an Inu budgie. First easy sign to look for, that we have already discussed, is that the Inu budgie has only yellow and white. So if you see any other color, blue, green, black, grey, whatever, then this bird is most definitely not an albino. Now if your budgie is all white and yellow, then you need to look at the eyes. The eyes have to be red, otherwise there are other mutations that could give you let's say a yellow budgie, but still not a lutino. If your budgie doesn't have the red eyes, then it's definitely not an Inu. Inu budgies here are pink or white, because they lack the melanin production. So you won't find a blue seer Inu male like you would in other mutations. And that's one of the reasons why it is hard to tell a male from female in this mutation. The legs are pink rather than grey. Even their beak is bright, orange color, and that is because as we've already discussed, they lack the production of dark colors. Of course their cheek patches also are silvery white for the same reason. Just a side note, females in this mutation do get their sears brown, and that's because the brown color of their sears doesn't come from the melanin, rather it's due to high hormonal levels. Now after we've discussed how to identify them, let's understand their genetics. The enogene is sex-linked mutation, which means it is only found on the X chromosome. It is also a recessive gene, which means you need both the X from the father and the mother to be carrying the enogene. Otherwise, if only one X is carrying the enogene, 
We say that the bird is a carrier only, but not an animal. For example, kiwi, my kiwi, he is a carrier. You can clearly see he is a green bird and not an inno. But he got some inno offspring because he carries the inno gene. But only one X of his has the inno gene and the other doesn't have it. Of course you should know that unlike humans, birds male has XX and the bird's female has XY, which means the female only has one X and one Y, so the female can't be a carrier for the enogene, which means if she has X with the enogene, she will be an eno, and if the X she has doesn't have the enogene, then she's not an eno. she cannot be a carrier. Let's go through some examples. If both parents are inos, then their whole offspring will be an inno, as you can see in this Punnett square. If the female is inno and the male is an inno carrier, then half the offspring will be innos and the other half either a carrier or not an inno at all. Now you can go through all the other Punnett squares you can think of with any type of parent you want. And you can see for yourself what percentage of the offspring should be an inno depending on the genetics of the parents. I hope you got a better idea about this mutation. Let me know in the comments below if you need to know more about other mutations so I make more videos discussing the different mutations. For more about budgies, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are watching this video from YouTube and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next video is up. Or like the Facebook page if you are watching this video from Facebook.